I can go get the microphone like tomorrow, like the new one and all that shit. But now I'm like, hmm. Why don't I save up for like next tier higher up, you know? The Electro Voice RE320. The problem with that is, once I save up for that, I'm gonna go like, oh, why not get the uh, uh, Electro Voice RE20? Which was the, which is the king for the like past 40 years. Doesn't you know, since all the shit's happening in Ukraine, we it might be better to not spend any money at this point. We don't know which way it's gonna go, but the price hikes are definitely gonna be a thing. are down I don't want to like create catapults now as well maybe like do one by one then I do wish we could actually make a uh, Catapults that like two to three, like or like a bunch of uh, rocks, not just one. Like the yeah, I can for the defense. Okay, one more. Or I could just tower them out, right? Nah, let's stack them. We ain't no bitch. This is one castle where I can like abuse archers. Really? Look at the layout of it. Alright, then the pack or hash. However, I call them. I did say like the Crusader mod is out, but I can't find it anywhere. I can't find which one he's referring to at least. Unless he's referring to... Oh, what was it? New Kingdoms or something like that? I can't remember what it's called. But like, yeah, 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 the Empire, like the European like nations or something like... They add England... France, you know, maybe, well, maybe Germany, Russia, and all those like uh, factions into the game. We can be patient, can we? Europe command map. I did see it. I think I watched. I think a resonant or uh, or Jackie Fish made a video about it already. I mean, we already had a map uh, made for Britain. And we do have the Britain well done. Team or guys making the mod for that as well.
like a res I don't know like resident or Jackie fish they did say like a yeah it would be cool if you could actually use it as a sub mod so like uh, place any of the use any mod for like culture change like empire rise empire rising and then just to place the Europa map under it without like implementing it, it, it into the empire rising map because they wanna they like mm, you know they, they don't have yeah, cartage it's not cartage it's whatever it's called in that the sake or barcitians so it's not really cityans you know what i mean they have like their own little bit of lore, lore in the game I just wreck them Well, the archers to move into melee as well. Most of them are uh, Batanian Fions. But this is gonna be it for this playthrough. Probably gonna do the Tessogen versus Empire United next. Because I was do I was thinking of doing like the or figuring out if you could actually play the like four factions, four samurai factions with guns. But then uh, I remember that like uh, if their infantry don't have shields, then you're gonna be facing guns. How the fuck are you supposed to win battles? Except from having more guns, right? See no other way. Let's see if we can get some action. Fuck are you on fucking ninja? Are they weak in melee, or is the whole problem just the fact they don't have, they don't have shields? Because as long as you keep them away, oh right, oh shit! The empire has a lot of throwing weapons. Hmm. And again, I didn't really even like play the mod or test out the unit, so I'll I'll figure out fig I'll figure out a way to make it work. Probably, maybe. <laughs> Shielded enemies are gonna be a problem as well. How much how much damage do the guns do? I mean they should be able to like break two shields at some point, like after a couple of volleys. Right? out right now 
with me. So just figure it out right there with me. So if I go inside and go to the keep, it should be there. It's not the, well. The manpower problem is not really the problem. The problem is gonna be if they don't like focus you down, like your faction you're in. Like if they're because they bother everyone, and if everyone is at war with them, you can maybe. Many like to, you know, use that to your advantage a little bit. I do, I, do, I do hate the layout of these. Like, look at look at how long I have to walk to get them. Yeah, like you're naming a class after viewers seems to work out fine. Like the. I'll, I'll look at the one I named after a viewer. Second here. Actually, don't have enough influence. What's a disgrace? Uh, Kingdom clans. Okay, so Stalnik. Look at the amount of members they have. Look at that. 14 members. Uh, they become dominant. Uh, well, what, what did they do in your playthrough? Like when you played with that mod on? Did they, because uh, you know how it goes. If I joined them, or was in the Empire faction, we would get piled on by everyone from every direction, and we would actually lose a couple of cities and towns, because we can defend all the whole Empire. You, you get what I mean? Like if Sergio, Batania, Valandia, because uh, and Azerai declared war on it because they border everyone I don't think the AI can handle like defending the whole of the empire on all fronts look at that I mean the AI had trouble like defending the empires uh, as they are like split apart let alone the whole empire even if they have a shitload of units they just can't be everywhere at the same time you know but i guess that depends on the luck you get 
We have... Let's see if we can catch this guy. So we can get some more renown. And KR. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? You know what I'm. What I'm gonna do? I'm just gonna play on the easiest difficulty, right? That's gonna work out. Look at him losing troops. Jesus Christ! Chasing one, one guy with zero troops. That's what we do as a king. <laughs> no, and <laughs> what? Playing on the easy difficulty? Why the hell not? I mean, uh, I'll probably like find a way, but we will maybe like need to restart the playthrough a couple of times, depending on what the fuck the AI decides to do. And I wouldn't be surprised if, like, you know, mob piles on us like 15 times. Right, right. I could, you know what I could do? I could set it to the easiest difficulty, then go into the mod options and make myself all overpowered with these uh, options in the better combat mod, right? Right? <laughs> That's what I should do. Make make myself regenerate. Wait, what? Let me actually look through the options. Life steal. Jeez. <laughs> oh, that would. Well, that will make things interesting, to say the least. Okay, but that's it. We hold half of Batania as well. I might do one more like stream of this where we fight whoever is the strongest at the moment. Looks like it's gonna be the Northern Empire. Like the party of 400. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah, I think that's gonna what's that's gonna be what I'm gonna do on Friday. I'm gonna grab an army, take the fight to the Northern Empire, see how we fare against them. I don't think we fought in. Well, we did fight uh, the Empire a little bit, but not like maybe one or two battles in at most. So I want to see how we fare against them. That's after I create another 
companion stack of armies. Just need a 300 more influence so I can grant that other guy. You know, Carl Bennett, Bed, whatever the fuck it's called. I do. Ha I think I do have companions ready. Or uh, I just let him go. I think I do have companions ready to lead. This guy is not it. Neither is she. Maybe I don't. This one's a leader. Yeah, I guess that works like just join a faction, buy yourself a wife because it's pretty freaking cheap, and uh, wait for the king to die. Ooh, if I can, imagine if the, if you could actually like uh, assassinate, like you have a plot to assassinate the king. Like something in Crusader Kings, you know? And then one day he slips on a banana peel and dies. You let me sign a manager over there. the battalion in there I mean I lost track with the companions I should really name them I go in and like yeah he, uh, he doesn't have stewardship uh, like uh, literally just go in and like name him steward one steward two steward three at this point there's a lost track of all of them especially since the names are unpronounceable by me we're more or less finished this but I do want to challenge some enemy factions see if we can beat their ass which we probably can I think the Northern Empire is the strongest with like 10k manpower or like a being able to field 10k but we'll see right and i do need some influence to like give uh, one of my companions some land so we can make another set of companion parties what else do we need to do yeah we just need to challenge the northern empire the Northern Empire and the Valandians have the most troops. Right, let me turn down the music as well a little bit. Got 9k. Besides so from, well, the Ezra have a lot of troops. Only problem is they're across the freaking map. I don't know, we'll see. We'll go to war with most of them and see... Can we take the land off of them? That's basically what we're gonna do.
Okay, everything's set. I do think we can hold more troops. Yes, we can. Let me actually see the party camp position. Okay, we need more infantry, that's for sure. Go over here, then recruit. Right, let me check this. Might have gotten a, like a companion we don't want or something. Thieves. Hmm. We need a governor as well. Of engineering trade. Yeah, let me see. Yeah, place them in there. That should be fine. I'm not gonna be surprised if this revolts again. If it does, um, I'm just gonna give it to someone else. Fuck it. Actually, I gave it to someone else already. Wait, what? This castle, never mind. Oh no, I'm holding uh, this one. Right. Got everything. Like, I, I didn't even play the game. Or do all this shit. I do like that the surgeons all you know still in the area just uh, defeating bandits for us oh yeah I like the radari though don't need that much cav one more infantry I can't remember which one is which ones of these are like I know that one has a lot of infantry troops, so all the other ones are have a bunch of uh, Valkyries in them. We don't want any of those. That's for sure. Yeah, look at that. Everything's a Valkyrie in this. And they got those bases to Co Castle and the one up there. God. Any normal infantry uh, here? Anywhere? Flex six. Okay, there we go. The mud load. Let's pick him up. We don't want him or the archer. Let me see here. Everything here is fine. Do we have a speed deficit? No, we do not. Cargo with capacity is like the only downside. And I do have a neighbor hammering away, so if that gets through the microphone, sorry. Nothing I can do about that. At 9 o'clock in the evening. As well. Okay, let's beat those guys up so we can get some more... Experience.
Well, the biggest like threat for the uh, for us with the Empire is actually their cavalry. Their lancers can actually do some decent damage to us. Oh, it's a bridge battle. Is it? It looks like it. Is this one of those where they can cross the node? With the f okay, the AI apparently doesn't know where they can't cross the river there. Doesn't that happen when we were we were fighting against an actual army, though? Damn, the infantry's the infantry's just walking like up here. Look at that. by the archers alone. Granted, they are the best archers in the game, so that makes sense. Okay, we don't need to take him prisoner, there's no point. Now, it would be good if you found some like bigger renegade armies as well somewhere so we can get more loot so we can level up the troops a little bit faster. Actually, we're gonna be able to, yeah, we're gonna be able to give out. Uh, okay, let me see. Who's the one left? The site. Uh, uh, clan. Give him though. Would you for his service? We're gonna give him that, and we're gonna na name him because we got the sub Ingram, Plan Ingram. And I somehow gained a level from that, which makes sense. Let's see. I don't think we're gonna need charm at this point, to be honest. I guess one-handed. And now I want to create another three companion parties. Let me just uncheck these. So let's go to... Oh, right. We gave up to everything. Uh... I'm going to, like, leave the troops at the city. And go pick up or like like leave the garrison as a whole in a city. If I can remember how to do that actually. 
think that's a, I think that's the thing. Let me see. Oh, let's leave members. What the fuck's happening here? Jesus. Junior Services. Wait, do I actually have companions for leaders? No, not no, not really. I think I'm gonna need more comp- uh, shit. That's bad. Your ship. Yeah, I literally have no one to place in there. Uh, shit. Uh, let me see. Okay, you. Get my wife in there. Since this is the capital, we're gonna move you there. Let's move the wife. Into the... Other big city we have. We also lost our We also lost party capacity. Yeah, I really need to start naming these companions we pick up for sure. enough there is no like high team infantry in there let's check this oh i see what the problem is apply template increase these Towns, copy to all castles as well. Creating false template. Recruit prisoners, no recruit from region. Auto create recruit. I do need to set this up all again. Set all of this up again. Right, I, I think I updated the improved garrison mod as well at some point. Well, to buy horses, improve the garrison training. Sorry, I had to sneeze there. 
No guard parties though. Okay now. Copy to all castles, copy to all towns. Okay, that should work. Right, now let's go find some parties so we can level up. Let's see how, uh, how many can we actually field. With this amount. Just tag uh, my stuff, but ho like hopefully this ain't gonna get attacked. I'm gonna be fucking surprised if the AI go comes all this way, even they are not that biased on attacking your stuff. Hopefully. Although it is. Uh, yeah, the defenses are poor, they might actually go for my stuff. Need to let my guys recruit a little bit before we go to war. With the Northern Empire. Unless we get declared war on, of course. She's a poor manager. There's some wagers of less for sure. Look at that, we're almost at a million and I didn't actually like sell any the loot for a long while too. Look at them. Alright, they they took this. They're actually expanding pretty well. On this side, though. They're still holding this, too. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a fucking miracle. Come on, give me a big renegade army. ain't worth it. Let's see, who can we actually declare? Uh, I don't actually know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I need the renown so we can actually declare war on someone as well. Or I can just do the sneaky way and just pounce them. What's up, Suleiman? Ertuglu as, as well. I remember watching that show. It's pretty good. Well, if it, it's Ertuglu, it's, that's the name of it, right? Yeah, then Osman is after it. And then we get the... Ah, I forgot the name. I feel like how there's a whole lot of nothing. Everywhere. Look at that, a fucking traitor. Well, let's, let me see how many clans we actually have. Look at that, we have a decent amount. So the ones I created are Gorgson, Veles, Telnik, Samison, Dorsty, and Ingram. Those are all, all the ones I created. Performed. You don't even need to actually, like, uh, persuade people to join your kingdom at this point. If you have the Distinguished Service mod. 
you think is much better because like you, who the fuck wants to level up charm really play the mini game with it Apparently the big renegade armies are no more. So I have to find another way to level up my troops. I mean... Most of them are high level, but like... The 20 we picked up not too long ago. Well, look at look at that. We can't catch him, can we? N no, no way. He's gonna take us for a ride. Okay, let me see. If I get if I lose troops here against them, I'm gonna be. Oh, look at that. They actually want to join us. You know, losses. That's a freaking surprise. I think the air yeah, by this point got enough troops on them so they can actually, you know, fend off the 200 man renegade parties roaming around. Yes, they are getting pretty close. We might actually be able to declare war on them and actually fight them as well. Yeah, we can declare war on the Kuzites. Well, I mean, uh, our guys in, are in favor of that. The Batanians, the Azerai. We got the nan aggression pack with him. No one else, apparently. I guess let's go. Uh... Well, funnily enough, the Kuzais didn't take anything from us, which is really odd. I think the Inar castle, yeah, it's there by default. I don't want to go over to war with the no. Uh... Right, I need to check uh, non aggression. 61 days, 12 days, 15, 58. Uh, um, I guess we could knock out Batania so we have an easier like path to Volandia later on. They don't have that much left. I think that's what I'm gonna do. Just knock them out real quick. Or at least that's the idea. You never know what's gonna happen. They only have one, five, six territories left. That's gonna be easy. Only problem is gonna be like catching them while they're gonna raid our stuff. Well, I don't give. I don't care. This is my stuff now. Well, the other all the lords can lose their shit if they don't defend it. To be honest. That. You don't want any of those. Jesus Christ, these guys are loaded. Okay, let me see. It would be good if you. Does it actually say when you get the non-aggression pact? Or like it when it goes away? 
11 days. Oh, there we go. We have something to do for the 11 days. Another 84 there. I might have gone too heavy on the Tannin Fions. Got a bit too many of them, in my opinion. But again, they do double as infantry, right? So it's not that bad. Could be worse. Let's toss our infantry at them. I do love it, like, you can make them turn their backs to the ashes. And I think they're, yeah, they're retreating. Check I got a message or something. Uh, nothing important. There we go, almost 20k experience. I'm gonna get the infantry at least up to tier like 3 or something like that. Let's grab these guys as well real quick. Yeah, look at that. They're being pushed out. Hmm, interesting. I gave me... Uh, Whoever was like taking them out was like surely the better idea was gonna be to take this right, but nope. The eyes. And... I don't get what. You stay over there, be a governor. What? I don't know. I have no clue what's happening with the governors. I lost Shrek at this point. I need to start na naming them. I leave the first name, but like Governor 1, Governor 2, and what and all that. What mods I'm using, uh, you can take a look here. So the first one is like Harmony, Better Exception Window, Bottle Abu, Extended Mod. You don't need to look at that. Here are the ones below. Matthew. You can find all these on my Gilded server. Under like uh, active on the left. You're gonna see like on the left side there's active. And you can find the links to all of these. Plus the like mod order, order I have it in. 
photo, like the screenshot of it. Now I wouldn't use the true battle loot mod. It makes the game a little bit too easy because you get so much more loot from the enemies to your, from the battles. Like I think the default is like 70% of all the equipment on the battlefield. You get it. And you can sell it for like a ton of money. So it makes the game a little bit too easy in that, in that way. Money becomes a non-issue. At that point. Well, I mean, it's not an issue normally for anyone. If you just do battles and uh, get a bunch of... Uh, nine days. And get a bunch of uh, loot, sell it off. Are you in a battle? Sure, why not? I haven't done it in a while. And by the way, if you're gonna use the better... Uh, realistic battle, uh, better AI combat module, whatever it is. Uh, don't play the game on. Actually, I turned that off, right? Yeah, I, never mind. Never mind. I turned that off. Here's one of the mods has two parts to it. One that modifies how the AI acts, and another one uh, uh, the skill of the AI. So. Good. Actually, I'm actually not sure. Fuck, fuck the tournament. Let's see. No, no, I have the combat AI difficulty set to normal because uh, the realistic battle AI module just makes the AI on like normal difficulty like block 90% of your attacks. Like, did. Like on the hardest difficulty, you can barely even get a hit in. Like it's like normal tier infantry, let alone the higher tier ones. So definitely like uh, don't use that. Or use it, but play on normal difficulty or normal combat AI. Rest is on the highest, on realistic, except Iron, Mo Iron Man mod. Sometimes we get crashes and a lot of them. Only enough, I didn't have a kid yet. Actually, I never talked to my wife either. Maybe I should send my wife uh, like a messenger. See if, if there. Maybe you just need to talk to her once for that actually to happen. See what happens. Right, I forgot I was a giant. Maybe now we'll get the kid, right? Seven days. Apparently the looters don't have any equipment on them. Or you might just need to kill them. But this is the... Wait a minute. Uh... Yeah, the battle loot mod. I dropped this down to like 50. By default, it's on 70. And place it at 100, but uh, it's gonna make the game too easy. 